Sex for Marks Bill. Have you heard about the Sex for Marks Bill? Well, most young women in Nigerian universities have been at the receiving end of one form of sexual harassment or the other. In October 2019, after the release of the Sex for Grades documentary, we all heard the horrific stories shared by various victims of sexual harassment in Nigeria's institution of higher learning. These stories should have been enough to trigger a radical change at our institutions. But this change is still elusive. At least there was an attempt by the Nigerian Senate, which led to the reintroduction of the proposed Sex for Marks Bill. What is the Sex for Marks Bill? The Sex for Marks Bill proposes to criminalize any form of sexual advances by lecturers towards students with a punishment of up to 14 years in jail or five years at the minimum without the option of a fine. Sexual offenses, as defined by this bill, includes grabbing, hugging, kissing, stroking, rubbing, touching, and pinching of any sexual part of a student's body. Sounds like a great one, doesn't it? Guess what? The Nigerian Academic Staff Union is vehemently opposed to this bill. ASU, as they are famously called, is opposed to the bill on the basis that it is discriminatory and it violates the autonomy of universities. Can female students assume this autonomy over their own bodies? ASU even said that corruption was a bigger issue than sexual harassment on campus and they want NAS to drop the bill. Imagine that. One last thing. ASU and others succeeded in killing the earlier version of this bill that was proposed about three years ago. Will you allow them kill the Sex for Max bill again this time? Tell me what you think about this issue. My name is Kiki Mordi, and we are woke. <laughs>